Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the DFA state minimization using the Mihal Nirod theorem. So Mihal uh, Nirod theorem is used for uh, the DFA state minimization with the tabular method. So the steps which are followed in this theorem are that we will draw the table for all the pair of the states. So you can see that there are four steps that those are needed to be performed. So in the step one, we will draw the table for all the pair of the states in the DFA. So let's say. Uh, the DFA is given. We have drawn the uh, state transition table for that as well. So now I'm going to draw a table which will show all the pairs of the states in this DFA. So when I will be doing this, I will be considering that the pairs are taken only for the lower triangle, not for the upper triangle. So uh, I have to see uh, the pair, this one, BA, I have to see CA, CB, DA, DB, DC, EA, EB, EC, ED, FA, FB, FC, FD, and FE. So now what I have to see that for these pairs of pair of the states, if one of them belong to the final state and the other one does not belong to the final, final state, then I will mark those states. For example, uh, B in, in the BA state, you can see that B belongs to the non-final state and A also belongs to the non-final state. So since both of these uh, belong to the non-final states, so these will not be marked. Right? Okay. So let's take another pair, which is the CA pair. So out of the CA pair, you can see that the C is the final state and A is not the final state. So I will mark this. Similarly, for the C, B state, C is the final state and B is not the final state. So I will mark this. Now for D, A, D is the final state and A is not the final state. So I will mark this. Then I have uh, D, B, D is the final state and B is not the final state. So I will mark this. For the D, C, D is final state and C is also final state. So I will not mark this. So for E, A pair, E is a final state and A is a final state, uh, A is a non-final state, so I will mark this. EB also I will mark because E is a final state and B is not the final state. For EC, E is a final state, C is a final state, so I will not mark this. Similarly, ED, since E is a final state and D is also the final state, so I will not mark this. Now for FA, F, F is the fi non-final state and A is also the non-final state, so I will not mark this. Then FB, F is a fin non-final state and B is also non-final state. So I'll, I will not mark this. FC will be marked because F is a non-final state and C is a final state. For FD, F is a non-final state and D is the final state. So I will mark this. For FE, FE will be marked because F is a final state, F is a non-final state and E is a non-final state. So I will move to the next step, which is the third step. The third step says that if uh, there are any unmarked pairs PQ such that the uh, transition of uh, P with X and transition of Q with X is marked, then mark PQ. Fine. So I think that this will be a bit difficult to understand. I'll show you only with the help of the example. So I'm going to perform this step number three and I'll perform this step by step. So the step number three says that I have to take all the pairs which are unmarked. So I will start with the BA pair, which is unmarked. So in this, I'm going to see the transition of state number B with the symbol zero. And similarly, transition of B with this transition of A with the symbol zero. Then I will see the transition of B with symbol one. And then I will see the transition of A also with symbol one. So let's see where they move to. So B with zero moves to A and A with zero moves to B. So you have to see the pair of a state AB. So the AB is not marked. So you cannot mark BA also. So this transition B with 1 moves to D and A with 1 moves to C. So look for the uh, DC entry. So DC entry is not marked. You can see that the DC entry is not marked. So we will not mark BA also. So let's take another pair. So another pair is, which is unmarked is D A D C. So D C is the pair which is unmarked. Okay. 
So for this also, I will see the transition. So D with zero and D C with zero. And similarly, I'll see the transition of D with one and transition of C with one. So transition of D with zero goes to A and transition of C with zero, so D with zero goes to E, I'm sorry. And now transition of C with zero also goes to E. So they are going to the same state. So its pairing is not possible. D with one goes to F and C with one also goes to F. So the pairing of this is not possible. So just leave it. And then I'm going to see another pair which is unmarked. So the unmarked pair, next unmarked pair is E, C. So E with zero and then C with C with zero. I'm going to see the transition of E with zero. And then I'm going to see the transition of C with zero. So E with zero goes to E and C with zero also goes to E. Similarly, I'll see the transition of E with one and transition of C with one. So both of them leads to the state F since they are F and F and E and E. So there is no possibility of the pairs. So I'll leave it. Another pair that I'm going to see, which is unmarked, is uh, E, D. Okay, for E, D, the transition of uh, E with zero and the transition of D with zero will be seen. So E with zero goes to E and D with zero also goes to E. Similarly, E with one goes to F and D with one also goes to F. So since they are going to the same states, the pairing will not be possible. So we'll take more X, more pairs. Let's take more pairs. And uh, the more pairs uh, will be F and A. So now for F A, movement or the transition of F with zero, transition of A with zero. So you can see that the transition of F with zero goes to F and A on zero goes to B. So look for the uh, state FB. So you can see that the FB is not marked. So this can also not be marked. So I'll look for the transition of F with one and transition of A with one. So transition of F with one leads to F and transition of A with one leads to C. So you look for FC entry in the table. So you can see that the FC entry in the table is this one, which is already marked. So since this is marked, so I can mark FA also. So I'm now marking FA. So this is the step number three. We are in the step number three. We'll look for another entry, which is unmarked. So that is FB. So we'll see all the transitions for FB also. So transition of F with zero and then transition of B with zero. So transition of F with zero goes to F, B with zero goes to A. Now we'll see the transition of F with one and transition of B with one. So F with one goes to F and B with one goes to A. So both of them are going to, uh, B with one goes to D, so extremely sorry. B with one goes to D. So since FA entry is now marked, so I can mark FB also. So you can see that FA entry is marked, so I can mark FB also. So these two have got marked. Fine. So uh, I have seen one round of the entries. So I'll see one round of the entry once again. So I'll, I'm just repeating it. So just see this, uh, the transition from B to A means this one. So this leads to AB, AB cannot be marked. DC, entry DC is not marked, so BA can also not be marked. I'm looking for DC. So DC is uh, transiting for, uh, for uh, EE and FF. So there is no possibility of making a pair here. And then EC, it is moving to EE and FF. So these are also the same state, so pair, ca pair cannot be formed. And then I'm going for any other uh, entry which is unmarked, so ED is unmarked. So this is also leading to EE and FF, the same state, so the pairing is not possible. 
So we can stop here because there was no change in the marking. And here I can now declare that those states, those states which are uh, not marked, they can now be combined. So what are the com com combinations possible here? So you just pick out to all those states which are unmarked or the pair of the states which are unmarked. So you can see that the BA pair is unmarked. So I can combine the BA state. I can make it BA or AB, whatever you like. Then you can see that the DC state is also not marked. So you can combine the DC states. Then similarly, you can combine EC. Okay, so EC can also be combined. And now there is another entry which is ED, which is also unmarked. So since these are unmarked, so we can combine these. Okay, so if I am combining the ABA, I can say that this is the AB state. If you see this, this is actually comprising of C, D, and E only. So I can make a single state C, D, E from here. So what you can see that the C has become C, D, E, and uh, A has become AB. Let's draw the transition table once again. So we have AB state. Since A was the initial state in the original DFA, AB will remain the original st uh, start state of the initial state. CDE states are combined and CDE were the final state. So they will remain as the final state. F remains as such. So F is taken out separately. So let's uh, see the transition. So AB moves to B means it will move to AB. AB on one can move to C or D. It means it is moving to CDE. CDE on 0 moves to CDE and CDE on 1 moves to F, F on 0 moves to F and F on 1 moves to F. So this way we have performed the step number 4. Let's look at the steps which are given. So we have drawn the table, then we have marked those states for which one of them belongs to the final state and the other one belongs to non-final state. In the step number 3 we have uh, seen all the pairs and their transitions. So if the transit, transiting pairs are marked, then I'll mark the PQ pair also. It is repeated until no changes can be done or the, no marking can be done. And then I have combined all the unmarked state, states into the single state. So now the table is prepared. I can just simply draw the DFA for this. So, so let's say this is the AB state, which is the start state. Then there is a CDE state, which is the final state. So let's make a double circle around this. And one of the state, which is the non-final state is F. So AB on zero moves to itself. And then AB on one moves to CDE. CDE on zero remains at itself. And then CDE on one goes to state F. F on zero and the one remains at this state only. So this is uh, the way we have minimized the given DFA using the mehil Nero theorem. Thanks for watching. We will meet again with a new example on this theorem.